Important win. They've now taken three out of four from Kansas City with two more to go. And, uh, you know, put one in the uh, plus uh, uh, check mark on the plus side for Craig Breslow. So, you know, you pick up Paxton, he goes out there, he pitches a good game, you win against a team you're going head-to-head with in the wild card. So I, I give him points for that. And Sims and uh, Garcia. Garcia I think. Yeah. Two of the relievers they picked up at the deadline factored in the, the bullpen. Right. Sims got one out, I think it was, in the seventh inning. Uh, you know, the other guy pitched an inning in a third. And I haven't had a chance to really dig in on those guys yet. I checked out when it was 8-2. to two. Uh, I thought the key part of the game, frankly, was in the middle of the game when Jaron Duran hit the double to left field. 100%. Great at bat. You know, you, you got a 2-0 lead in the game. They come back and tie it. Now it's 2-2. Two to two. You put a couple of guys on with two outs. You get to second and third. Now is a chance to take the game right back. Two outs, left on left. Yeah, and Duran shoots one down the line, and you get yourself a two-run double out of it. Then the next thing you know, it's 8-2. to two. Great at bat. So he's become like, you know, as much as I have mocked the wow. Jaron Duran lovers. I was going to ask, are we going to have anything approaching a Tony Maserati take amendment? Well, what I said at the time was the all-star game. I was clearly wrong about that one. Okay, well, that's he here's a good start. All-star MVP, Maz. Good so, start. Yes, yes, he was MVP. Yeah. The all-star game That's correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shouldn't have even been there. <laughs> that was my initial If take. Jaron Duran's going to be an all-star, they might as well just cancel the game. Correct. Well, I think was a direct quote. Yes, yeah, I, that sounds right. I might have to take that one back. <laughs> yeah, not a, only did they not, not cancel the might, game. That's a yes. If Jaron Duran's an all-star, they really should cancel the event. Okay, so <laughs> not only did they not cancel it, they played it, and he was the best player in the game. They should now consider uh, naming the event after him <laughs> is what they should do. Look, he the, the turnaround with Jaron Duran is like one of the great stories that's taken place on the Red Sox in the last couple of years, and there haven't been many of them. Now, I am interested in seeing what they do with a guy like Duran because McAdam wrote something a couple of weeks ago about, well, they've tried to talk to Tristan Casas in terms of a new contract. They've talked to Tanner Houck on a contract, you know, et cetera. They've obviously signed Brian Bayo and Sedan Raffaella. They should approach Duran with the same type of thing. I'm not sure that that's the right play. So I think it's going to be an... Why not? Well, and I'll tell you why, because he's 28. That's old now? Okay. Yeah, well, it is, actually. Well, I mean, it's not It's not like you're getting out ahead of y- a... It's not young. But 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 it's not comparable to Bayo or Raffaella, these guys who are buying out arbitration years and buying out free agent years at 28. He's gonna, the next time he's up, he's a free agent, isn't he? Well, so he, I think he's got three years before free agency. Seriously? At that age? I thought it was age and service time. It is just service time. J- not age. Right. Oh, that used to be a hockey thing. All right, so just service time. Just service time. And he's only got, I don't even think he has three years in the big leagues yet. I'm not, I don't, is he even eligible? He might be eligible this offseason for the first time, so maybe they'll explore it then. But This is different. Yeah, it is different. And, and so... Let's say he says, well, I want a six-year deal. You're going to give a 28-year-old guy a six-year deal? And that would fly in the face of everything they're trying to do. So you're going to buy out just his arbitration years? If I'm him, I'll, I'll take my chances. Guys, you know, uh, what did Mookie Betts make in arbitration? $30 million or something like that? And I'm not telling you he's Mookie Betts. But the point is, he'd be better off going year to year at this stage. Are they going to, like, what are they going to do with a guy like this now? Just let him play it out? So, and Hauk is something similar, not as dramatic, because he's, you know, a year younger, I think, 27, 28 years old. His service time might be a tick higher, but same type of situation. Did you see the Raffaella catch last night? I did. So, does that, do they, uh, I mean, are they both center fielders? Are they both, I mean, do they run into each other a little bit? So, I think. I mean, Duran obviously has more pop, and it does more, but you tell me. I think Raphael is a better natural outfielder, my opinion. Duran has gotten better. I still watch him and don't feel like he's all that steady under the ball sometimes. He's better than he was, and he catches it. Okay, he's a lot better than he was. I don't mean to minimize that part of it. Raphael, to me, is natural, reads the ball off the bat very, very well, instinctively is tremendous, throws better, than uh, Duran does. Duran made a stupid play last night in left field. Did you see that one? No. The ball was hitting the left field. They're up 8-2. to two. Okay, so it's right. Go okay, ahead. Okay, 8-2, to two, seventh inning. Uh, there's a runner on second base. Ball's hit down the left field line. Duran goes over, gets it, and then th- throws to the plate. He was deep. 
Lolly pops it to the plate and lets the runner advance to second base. And he came around to score. Dude, you're up 8-2. to two. Let them score the third run. Don't give them the fourth. What are you doing? So I saw that, and like there were moments like that where you look at it and go, he still doesn't quite, he's an athlete that doesn't quite get the game, not fully. So, and, but again, he catches everything he gets to now, like, and, and he sees the ball better and he tracks it better. But I think Raphael is a far superior defensive player, if you're asking me. I'd put Raphael in center field and leave him there. Will he ever hit like Duran shown he can hit this year? No. Nope. Duran can hit. He can hit. And he hits to all fields, and the speed is a huge variable. The other thing that's hard not to love about Duran is he just plays freaking hard. He goes hard just about every single time he hits the ball. Bill Mass is coming around on Jaron Duran there, Murray. Yep. I mean, he's a hard guy not to like. You know, I think defensively. You didn't like him like a month ago. <laughs> I <know>. But, you know. <laughs> but I, I do come around eventually, yeah. Murray. And he, uh, you know. He is dynamic. Like, I, I don't want to take that part away from him. The defense is a little overrated, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, people say, oh, he throws well. He doesn't throw well. He, he throws like he's throwing a freaking shot put, for crying out loud. If Jaron Duran's an all-star, they really should cancel the event. <laughs> <laughs> and he went out and won the All-star MVP. MVP. <laughs> it was the best. Well, it was just the best. That was, good. Like, that was so good. perfect. That was good timing. That's called a Felger and Maz fastball right yeah. down yeah. the middle. That's called a take back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's been a couple of these uh, games that they've won where their deadline acquisitions have factored, where I, I, I find myself getting a little frustrated with the people, including the team itself, that didn't want to make moves to improve the team because, well, we're not winning it anyway. It's like, oh, okay, so you're not favored to win it. That means you don't try and win a game like you did last night or be in the spot you're in right now. There's... Just under two months to go, you're tied in the loss column to make the playoffs for the first time in four years. You're playing the team that's your chief rival for that spot, and you went out and won. No value in that? None. Oh, we're not winning it anyway. So no, there's no reason to watch or invest in a game like last night. Or even try. Or even try. Like, that frustrates me. It should. It's like... Jesus, what was it all the, was it just the Brady years that ruined everybody? Pretty much. Yes. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yep. And it's like unless unless we're the best, there'll be time for it. Like you know, so you you're, you're not really interested in the sports or the game or the competition or the pursuit. It's just oh again, buying a t-shirt and saying the other team sucks. Right. Yes. Yeah. If I don't get the blow, why bother? Oh, exactly. God, it, that just drives me nuts. No, they don't they pe people don't you know, those people that you're talking about don't really watch it for the game or the competition. This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. When you're not the best team and you're not expected to be uh, where you are, and you're winning games you're not supposed to win, and you're trying to win them, and this is when it's good. This is when it's actually the best. And, but no, oh, I'm winning anyway. Like, oh my God, I can't stand that. And that's me impersonating Craig Breslow, by the way. Like, that's the team as much as anything. But you know, just the fan experience, never mind what you are as an organization. You want to go four straight years out of the playoffs? You know, part of the reason the team and the sport is dying or dead in the town is because you don't play meaningful games. So there's you're saying there's no value in playing meaningful games? Like, God, this all or nothing thing. It's like it's ridiculous. Oh, the the fun part is the pursuit and winning when no one expects you to. And this spot I find much more interesting than USA basketball. Or, you know, as much as good, I'm glad you won it, but that Celtics run was freaking boring. There's nothing there. Uh and it's like I this to me is much more enjoyable, this sort of thing. But so I'm, I'm talking about different things, the fan experience and what's enjoyable or not. I'm talking about as an organization, four straight years, because that's what it would be if they don't make the postseason this year, right? Uh, three, actually, because they made it in 21. So three. But it'd be five out of six. Okay, it'll be three straight years, five out of six where you're out of the postseason. That's not acceptable for a team with your resources, the amount of people who do still care, and the amount that, well, you can spend on the team, and the amount of uh, playoff bursts now. Like, no, make the postseason. Give your fans 
and people who want to give a crap meaningful games in August, September, and hopefully into October. And you should be making moves at the deadline for that, if nothing else. The, the only thing I will add is that the your basic people complain that the baseball season is too long. It is. Okay, and it is. You now get a 60-game season, basically. Okay, the final two months. That's it. The one last night, that game mattered. That game mattered. So and it was a big spot in the middle of the game. That it Dur- was. And th- that Durant at bat was a good, big, meaningful at bat. Absolutely. And again, now they're tied in the loss column. I said to you yesterday, you don't get swept in this series because you'd be five and a half out total. Okay, not loss column, but five and a half out. Now the opposite happens. Now Kansas City's looking at it going, are we going to blow this? We These guys are beating us three out of four. They smacked us all around the ballpark last night. They scored, you know, nine runs. And, you know, now the Red Sox are hitting. So now what happens? Now it's that's like in the in the tug of war over the final sixty games to for that final spot. Now all of a sudden it tilts the pressure tilts to the Kansas City side and they come out and say, Well, now you gotta win the second one, otherwise you're looking at a sweep. Like this is where the stuff the games actually matter. It's good stuff. Is it okay to try and win them? Definitely. Like I just you're arguing with people about like the value in trying to win these games. Yeah, they're like, just going to get bounced in the first round, Falcon. Oh, my God. So, anyway, that, that stands out, too. And Jaron Duran. Like, that to me is... Uh, if Jaron Duran's an all-star, they really should cancel the event. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then, of course, when he wins the all-star game MVP, we can't blah Maz because... It's the summer of Maz. Summer of Maz. Yeah. He's I, nowhere to be found. Yeah. I wasn't here. <laughs> get your shots in today. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here... For more Red Sox analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 985thesportshub.com.